Okay, so in this question, it's the same question as before. So we still got the this wedge angle theta, where theta is equal to 20 degrees. And the block is initially here at the bottom. And it's given an initial velocity of 5 meters per second uh, up the slope. And there's no friction again. The question is, how far up, what is this distance that it will travel? What's delta d up the plane? And uh, also part b asks, how much time elapses before it returns to the starting point? This problem, because there's no friction involved, it's exactly the same as throwing a ball up in the air and it comes back down. The question is saying, you know, how high will the ball go and how much time before the ball uh, gets back to the starting point? So the only difference, of course, is that in the ball throwing it up and down, the acceleration is just g, uh, you know, negative 9.8. But in this case, our acceleration is equal to, from the last problem, it's equal to uh, g sine theta. But everything else is the same. So to find delta d, uh, we would say, OK, well, also we'll need the final velocity here, which I think is pretty clear, right? Just like this one, where the final velocity would be equal to 0. It's equal to 0 there as well. So if we assume final velocity is 0, and we use this equation again, v final squared is equal to 2a delta d plus vi squared, then we can calculate a delta d, where delta d is equal to v final squared minus v initial squared all over 2a. And in this case, we know v final is 0 minus 5 squared all over 2 times and acceleration we know is g sine 20. And so now we can plug that into our calculator. And we'll get an answer of 3.73 meters. OK? So now we know, now we know this distance here is 3.73 uh, meters at the height that it goes. And now the next question, the next part is, part B, is asking what is the time, how much time elapses before the box returns to its starting point. So uh, this we can use a different kinematics equation. We can use delta D equals 1 half AT squared uh, plus VIT. Now, in this case, we know that delta D is going to be 0. So it, end, it doesn't end up being a quadratic. As, as long as delta D is, is 0, we can simplify this uh, away from a quadratic. So we'll get 1 half AT squared plus VIT. And then I can simply divide every term by T. And of course, this still becomes 0. This now becomes 1 half AT. And this come, becomes VI. And so now, solving for T, we can just say negative VI moving that guy over. And uh, we can multiply, take that 1 half, put it to the other side, and multiply by 2 divided by A is equal to T. And so now, if we put our numbers in, it's 2 times negative 2 times 5 uh, divided by negative uh, g sine 20. And plugging that through our calculator will give us 2.98 seconds. 
So that's the time it takes for it to get back down to its original location, back uh, down the slope. Okay, so that's the end of this problem. Thanks.